I'm going to go offline in Friends, because I cannot have people knowing that I'm about to play this. Seriously, <laughs> I will never fucking hear the end of it. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, they will let me know. <laughs> what you doing? If, there, if you, you playing Modern Warfare again? No, <laughs> just fucking... No, I, it's, for, it's for a show, I swear. <laughs> I'm, I swear I'm not playing it. I'm not, I'm not playing it to have fun, I just... I'm to... certainly not playing it <laughs> to have fun. Alright. Awesome. I fucking hate this game. It's... I mean, you know. <laughs> you know all that great shit I was saying about Call of Duty 4? This is when they fucked it up. This is when it all kinda got shitty. Cause I feel they... They saw what was good in 4 and tried to do so much of it. So much worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck this level. Remember this? Where you're. When oh, there's yeah. a little mini game where you have to climb the. Yep. Left I'm, trigger. I'm not. And right trigger. I'm gonna jump right into the shit here. <laughs> Alright. Like, this is. The, remember the nuke going off in Call of Duty 4? Oh, yeah. This was supposed to be that. Yeah, I remember that. I mean, it was. fine. So, the idea mm -hmm. is that. The American government is sending you undercover to get in with these Russian terrorists, but in order to get in with them, you have to engage in some unspeakable shit. Yeah. You just gotta, you just gotta commit a few war crimes if you want to get in good with the terrorists. Yeah. It's like the cool kids at school. Basically. Exactly. It's hazing. Yeah. 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 Force 141 brought in the ACS, Alan. Two men took down an entire base. I ask much more from you now. Yeah, so much more. Yes, you have to take down an entire base alone. Just kidding. You have to shoot at civilians. Get wrecked, right, nerd. <laughs> the war rages everywhere, and there will be casualties. Can you live with yourself, nerd? Can you? You fucking dork. <laughs> this man. I remember, uh, like, when the game came out, I didn't hate it nearly as much as I do now. Yeah. Well, I mean... Really, one of the biggest problems with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 was that it kicked off a trend. And when it came out, you didn't know about the trend. Yeah. I don't know, I think it started with Modern Warfare 1. But well, it got really bad around this time. Yeah. Or it was already really bad. Well, I mean, you know, because it's just like, you know, since they're kind of handing it back and forth between the studios, you know. Yeah. It's like, they released Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It makes a ton of money. There's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It makes a ton of money. And then everything is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yep. Even, even now, fucking... So I'm undercover as this guy named Alexi. Transformers, War for Call of Duty. Yeah. Robots are in it, but it's still... So, yeah, these are those Russian terrorists. Yep. And guess you, what I gotta do? You, you walk quietly on, and then what you do is you shoot at people. Yep. This is has the same emotional impact as uh, dying cold and alone millions of miles away from uh, everything uh, like in Modern Warfare 1. Yeah, absolutely. I really feel the tragedy of war from this. Yeah. Also, I feel like this game's being very nice to me with the shots. Because I don't feel I'm hitting these people. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, well, that room exploded for no reason. Yep. Which sure is fine, did. I mean, you know. Oh yeah, and this thing takes forever to load, and I obsessively reload every gun. Yep. It's just, it's just, it's just what you do. Speaking up is what you do. If you want to stop a bully, you need to speak up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop a bully. Maybe, maybe these people should look into that. Maybe these people should speak up. They could definitely stand to try it, I mean. So, uh, it's completely optional whether you do this or not, but there's nothing else to do. Yeah. So you might as well. Yeah, I remember this, actually. Yep. It dragged on. Yep, it goes on for quite a while, because, like, what they were thinking, you were... <laughs> they thought you would be, like, horrified by this. 
Uh, the problem is it's a video game. It's yeah, like, it's not real. No. It's not, it's not really like... Like, oh, something terrible happens to you. It's, no. Ooh, MP5. You're... Like, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's just like they're putting you in this real. situation. You don't have the option to, like, shoot, like, the terrorists and just stop this whole thing from happening to begin with or anything. Yeah, you'll fail because the mission no, if you, like, yeah, fire at these you, guys. You can't, you can't continue with the game. Like, this is just kind of... You just kind of have to sit through this. You can yeah. participate or you can not. It doesn't matter. They're just putting you here and you have to kind of, you know... Yeah, you have to experience the horror of war. Do, 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 do. Spray down the line. Whatever. This doesn't matter. None yeah. of this matters. And as if this many people would be killed by this. Right? I mean, like, you, you hear guns. They're, they are being way nicer to the terrorists. Yeah. Than, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. There's guys over there, too. I did not know that. I, oh, God, I can't see a goddamn thing. <laughs> Why would you want to see anything? Like, oh, Jesus Christ. When you, when you I, yeah, th yeah, this was the game that did that. Like, when you get hit, your screen, like, does this violent jerk. Oh. And then when that happens, like, it smears jelly yeah. on your screen. And you can't see a goddamn thing. And so you're, if you get shit, like, look at that. Yeah. Like... That's so bad. Yeah. And I mean, when you take more damage, it gets even worse. Yep. Yep, let's see. Am I just out of range? Yep, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> and as long as I don't get shot for a few seconds, yep. Yep. Takes about, I don't know, three seconds, you think? To recover from that. So what's great is you throw a flashbang, they all drop their shields. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's like I was talking. Ah, Jesus. I was talking in the Call of Duty 4 one about all the context sensitive uh, dialogue. Yeah. And uh, they have it in this one, but it's like it's kind of like holding your hand through the whole thing. Oh yeah. Like it just kind of. Oh, okay. It just kind of doesn't think you. Oh, oh. <laughs> it doesn't. It thinks you're me and suck ass. <laughs> Most people aren't as bad as me. Oh, hi hey guys. guys. Gentlemen? Fucking hell. I am hurt. Yeah. Get to ca. Oh! <laughs> so. Yeah. I think. Like, for one, like, this is too long to really be effective for what they're trying to do. Yeah, and absolutely. two, they're giving you, like, just way too much agency. Like,. <laughs> By, like, giving you any kind of meaningful control, I think they kind of just ruin, like, any impact that it could have had. Yeah, I think this is just a dead zone. Like, th that entire side is just... They just, they just shoot you with yeah. their the infinite people that they have over there. <laughs> of all the little pot shots. Yeah. Like, trying to shoot on the very edge of their like, shields, so I'm just kind of... There are like ten of them out there! Yeah. None of them can hit you. Yeah. And you're just taking small little shots, and they're getting paralyzed. Paralyzed? They're just flinching so hard. Yeah. I'm sitting here taking bullets like a champ. Don't even care. In just... a suit! Oh yeah! You might have a bulletproof vest. How else do champs take but Well, look at their fucking decked out in full SWAT gear. But yeah, like, right? Like, I mean, I even might have behind the shields, I do have to assume that they are also armored. Yep. And I have to assume that they are also pussies, because they just can't take this shit at all. <laughs> you dropped it? I wouldn't have dropped it, I would have just, you know, used the fucking shield as a fucking shield. Okay. Just quit fucking around, would ya? Oh, grab the thing you dropped. Uh, ah. Remember this? Yeah. I like that. Fucking Like that. 
Like, that's the thing I like about Call of Duty, is the guns. The guns are good. They do guns right. Even in this one. The problem is, there's so much shit. Yeah. Like, it just... They just, just they just don't really have their shit like, together. Have you ever played the multiplayer in this? It's a huge clusterfuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of like, okay. And what's about to happen here is a big theme of the game that just pissed me off. Oh shit! I didn't see so that coming, betrayed. right? So yeah, they, they positively ID you as an American, and Russia immediately launches a full-scale assault on the U.S. Yeah, as a whole. That seems sensible. They, I mean, there's, they, there's, they didn't even talk to yeah. the U.S. I mean, there's, there's no way all the, uh, you know, eyewitnesses... I mean, it could easily be one American acting alone. Yeah. Or, you know... I don't know, maybe they pegged you as CIA or something. Well, they maybe, would. Maybe you well, were would, but... a really shitty fucking, like, spy, and you were carrying, like, the identification for all that on you. Look, if I know Russia, and I like to think I know a little bit, they would at least talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah. Like... Russia has been fucking up, as they always have been. <laughs> but, but really, they would talk to somebody. That, uh, oh, yeah, that's another thing. Is they gave a, uh, they gave uh, soap. Oh, got a crouch. Because if you don't crouch, you just die here. Yep. Yep. And uh, so they gave soap a face and a voice. Which that is was the a worst bad, thing they could have done. Bad idea. And they set you in Brazil for a good portion of the beginning of the game, where there are s the stupidest civilians in the world who just run in front of everything. Uh, I get another thing I was gonna say when you got betrayed back there was uh, they kind of kept with the whole like they saw how powerful it was in Call of Duty Four when um, when Jackson died in the nuke. Mm. And, uh, they just. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. I'm not paying attention. Anyway, they saw how powerful it was when Jackson died with the nuke. And, uh. And they were like, you know what? If we do that three times, <laughs> it'll only get better. Yeah, right? And. So there's. Seriously, like, three fucking times. Maybe it's just two. Uh. I know what happens with, uh, Johnson back there. Yeah. Uh, it also happens with Roach later, spoilers. <laughs> um, and I think it happens with someone else. Huh? I don't remember who. I don't really remember. He's dying. And, uh... Oh yeah, there's a guy named Meat. Anyway. So yeah, they, they have, like, it loses all of its power. Which you do it a million times. Yeah. And do it poorly. Yeah. Because it's always, like, both times that I can remember, maybe there, maybe it was just twice, but, like, it's, what happens is, you're at the end of the level, you press the button to get in, and someone shoots you. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, act two here. There... The, oh yeah, they yeah. attack the White House. We, well, wait, we're not even there yet. Oh, that's not. This is the suburbs. Okay, yeah. This is like this is Russia attacking the U.S. without talking to anyone. <laughs> yeah. And this is where you get to be Ramirez. Ramirez. Sam Bravo, we're reading seventy bogies in your sector. Please verify. You have to be Ramirez forever. Very funny, Station. <laughs> that's a big negative over. Ramirez is going to be doing favors for the devil in hell. I'm telling you. The sky's a clear station. You've got yourself some phantom dots. Over. 
Zulu X-ray 6, signs in your sector of some 100 bogeys. Please advise. Negatory station. Scope is clear. I don't know what to tell you. Solar interference, heavy sunspot activity today. Sierra Delta, uh, we may have a minor ACS fault here. Do you have anything on your scope? Sierra Delta, repeat. I'm looking at fighter jets over I-95! How the hell did they get through? Stand by, attempting to contact the nearest unit in We just sector. didn't bother. I read you. This is 1st Battalion, 75th Ranger. Oh yeah, Sergeant Foley! That's a uh, character in Call of Duty 1. Oh yeah! That's right. Doesn't he get shot at the end of Call of Duty 1? No, they don't do that kind of bullshit in Call of Duty 1. Oh, okay. I thought he got shot at the end of Call of Duty 1, but survived. And then he got shot at the end of this one. No, he's didn't. a different guy. Th okay. Like, Call of Duty 1's in World War II. Oh, I thought Foley was... okay. Wait, what? Now I'm confused. Well, maybe he was in some other ones, because... Because Captain Price was in Call of Duty 1. Yeah. But he was a different dude. Oh, you, you, you just mean the voice actor. No, like, his name is Captain Price. Oh, okay. But he's a different guy. Just a different dude? Yeah. He's still British. And he's still... Oh! He's still far Alright. So, yeah. This is what happens. Like, this was where we would fight. This is where Russia would run through. Yeah. Really, they just wanted the suburban level. Yeah, and I mean the suburban level. I mean it's kind of cool. It's, it's kind of cool, you know. It's just like it's it's, it's at least pretty different from you know most kind of yeah like levels that you're gonna see in a Call of Duty sort of game. Yeah. Tip the fucking grenade, and then it's just well fuck you too, Cody. I know you're there. Wow. I'll throw another grenade Look if I have to. Look at how terrible that looks. Yeah, that looks like garbage. <laughs> like, this whole thing is just a big sheet of wires. Yeah. It's like all glued together or <laughs> something. That's just the... Uh, that's just Mama's a paratrooper carbonara. Also, I have, like, an astigmatism in my right... In my left eye. And, like, every time I see this, it's really hard for me to track the movement. I don't know if it's like that with you. Yeah, well, I mean, I always had a hard time seeing anything in this fucking game, because... Okay, so maybe it's not just me. It seems like it was an intentional design decision just to not really have anything kind of pop for you. Yeah. Um... Ramirez! Which isn't something that I really agree with. They just super, like, it just made, like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything is fine. That <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say that's how it's done. <laughs> I don't actually know. It's the way it's meant to be played. That was the Nvidia of this. The oh god, I'm just saying things. See, sometimes they just yell Ramirez. They don't tell you to do anything. They're just <laughs> yelling at you. Ramirez, fuck you. <laughs> Did you guys hear me tell Ramirez that, I, that, that he was such a nerd the other day? Oh, wow. That, that Ramirez car is a didn't nerd. hurt me. Yeah, it, it was, I mean, you know. It's not like cars actually explode with a lot of force. Oh, also, another thing I've noticed is in all of the Call of Duty games, no person, well, no important person has ever ever died from a helicopter crash. Yeah. Helicopters go down like flies in <laughs> every single game. Yeah. Nobody ever dies from them. It's fine. Like it always crashes and lands, but they always get out. And they're and they're and they're and they're like there fine. might be a little bit of cloudy screen for a second. And then they come out of it like immediately. What about the time when he had to uh carry Sergeant Price around? Not, he didn't die. Yeah, but why, why was that? Because the it crashed and landed at his legs, and, like, the blade almost hit it. Oh. Right. Yeah. yeah. It was... Here it is. This is it! <laughs> what's, what's the most tactical advantage 
like our <laughs> biggest tactical advantage we have. The Russians have fortified the burger joint. <laughs> it's the your job to take it back so we can continue to feed our front line, soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Nate's sports bar and grill is where we will make our final stand. <laughs> and then there's Wu Tang Financial over there. And... Okay. Ah. Alright, I've kind of walked into that. Hey, private. <laughs> I know. I'm not... I'm not stressing about it, man. <laughs> Foley, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna reach your mom's perimeter. <laughs> Now we're playing Call of Duty. Now we're playing Call of Duty. <laughs> Wait, the Scar. I remember how everyone was like blowing their own jizz because the Scar was a thing. Yeah. They're like, yeah, it's kind of like an M16. But... Oh, yeah. Have you ever met people who like are gun experts because of Call of Duty? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. It's. It's kind of cute. It's a, it's adorbs. In the sense that it, you know, is spherical and additive. Yeah. That's what adorbs is. Oh yeah? That's an actual word? <laughs> yeah. With an actual dictionary definition? Yeah, absolutely. Miriam Webster, that shit is... Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this? <laughs> Chill, dude. I have a big shining hood that tells me about all this. <laughs> yes, dude. So yeah, predators are a thing. All I need to do is move the mouse onto the red thing. I'm really good. Let me do it again. Then you can just kind of click to be done with it. Yeah, it's like pressing down in Tetris. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're all inside. I did get it was? Okay. I didn't think I got anything like that. Okay! Get back to the restaurant, Stop Ramirez. Stop shooting these dudes. Ramirez, if it's not too far out of your way, would you go to the dry cleaners and pick up my wife's gown? She <laughs> got it dirty last night because, well, you see, we were having wine at a romantic dinner. <laughs> Ramirez! <laughs> that is priority Alpha 9 or 0. That guy had murdered him. Yeah. What a little bitch. Right? Alright, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Oh. Nope. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this is ridiculous, right? This is completely So ridiculous. we've seen... I think I've spent enough time on this. Yeah. This was once a game. No more. It is now an icon. A legend. Oh god, this level fucking sucked. Yeah. A lot of these levels were yeah. not that fun. Oh god, this one... <laughs> yeah. Then there's the gulag with the... Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember, and they had the tactical clearing thing, so yeah. slow motion. Yep. Throw down a breaching charge and it's like... Fucking Matrix bullet time ass shit. It was fine. That's right. Oh yeah, they, they do attack the White House. Yeah. <laughs> you the, see the Russian. You mean Whiskey Hotel? Yeah, the Whiskey Hotel. I would go to a place called Whiskey Hotel. <laughs> it would be kind of like a dive bar, but <laughs> it would actually be a hotel. Yeah. 
It's like you could have sex with prostitutes and get wasted at the same time. Perfect. Which is two things that go hand in hand, really. Yeah. Well, yeah. More, no more than one bag. Yeah, so everything's fucked. Yeah. I don't care. Just stop all battlefield communications because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Maintain fucking radio silence. Maintain radio silence. I will fucking I, you. I'm a little hungover and I am not having it right now. <laughs> Ramirez's day off. <laughs> Ramirez calls in sick to work, which is the army. <laughs> uh. Vector time. Yeah. Yes. Ramirez, <laughs> get Oscar <laughs> Mike to the computer room. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Ramirez, we need you in there ASAP! Battalion is Oscar Mike. <laughs> God, I said that as like a ringtone once, and I just played that in a loop, and it was like, kind of like a personal hell. <laughs> well, you did it to yourself, that's what you did. Well, I did. And that's what really hurt. I did it to myself, just me, me and no one else. <laughs> it's okay, Sergeant Foley, I'll handle this. <laughs> that is oh. That was Sergeant Foley. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I feel like if anyone watched these videos, these videos would be the downfall of the <laughs> channel. <laughs> it's a good thing no one gives a shit. <laughs> right. Like, I don't even give a shit. <laughs> oh. In the Department of Justice. I like how you shoot the very top of those columns, and the whole fucking thing just shatters. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. There was actually nothing I could do about that, because this is scripted. I just think it was kind of retarded how they're like, there's a bunch of Sams on top of that building. They're like, oh, let's go up and fucking see. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> I have got to see this. <laughs> Ramirez, you're clearly fine. Stop fucking faking it, you pansy. <laughs> so, yeah. A helicopter crashed, and I am just fine. Private Wait, he's not fine. Oh, he gave you his gun. And well, it's fine that he's not fine. Yeah. So they give us a gun with almost no ammo, and we're supposed to hold out, and you can't. So you just kind of he gives you that. He's like, "All right, make it all work." So you you think you got to be efficient, but you don't really. You can just kind of shoot <laughs> very dangerously into your own helicopter. It doesn't matter at all because. No. And then this is actually something that I like about this game. Come in, Sam One. This is ISS control. You remember this? No. Not yet. Oh, yeah.
Houston. We're not scheduled for any satellite launches today, are we? ISS Houston, stand by. We may have a problem here. that weird Russian nuke thing that Price set off in that thing I didn't show you. Yeah. This is only different than it's already been. Yeah. And yeah, no uh, holographic or. Fine! God damn it! <laughs> I can't enjoy the moment for a second. Alright. Right. Oh, cloudy, slow. Okay. Uh, but yeah, they take away your red dots. It's an EMP. Everything's gone. That's kind of cool. Anyway. Basement quality. Basement quality. Yeah. There's a shitty boat part at the end of the game that sucks too. Yeah. Bye.